Hey, this is David with the Shepherd School, and we're going to make coffee can chicken or, or swinging chicken or whatever you want to call it. But we're going to cook some uh, chicken in a number 10 can. And what we've done to prepare this can is about an inch up from the bottom, or you know, inch and a half or so, we've drilled some holes. Now, I just took a roof and nail in my. In my screw gun and screwed it in but you could use a drill you could use nail it don't really matter but a little around about an eighth of an inch and then at the top I put two holes and put a little piece of uh, uh, baling wire there okay and so what we're going to do is put some charcoal here in the bottom and we're going to wrap this chicken up in aluminum foil and we're going to bake it now they call it swinging chicken because you can put it up on something, you know, a tree limb or something and let it swing because if you stick this on the grass with the hot charcoal, it's going to uh, burn your grass. So you, you put it on the asphalt, it might heat the asphalt up. I, I don't know. But one way or the other, you want to make sure as you cook this, you want to put it on something that's fire safe or hang it in an area where dogs or something can't knock it down or it can't swing over and, and uh, catch your house on fire. Okay. So I've got some chicken. And I've got some balsamic vinegar. Uh, you know, you can use Dale's. You can use any kind of liquid you want if you so choose to use a liquid. I like doing that because it lets my dry rub stick to it. Here's my dry rub mix, and I'm not going to tell you what's in it, but there is a little bit of cayenne pepper and just a little bit of um, citric acid. But there's some other stuff in there, too. We're going to put that on there. Then we're going to put some on the other side. Then I've got some heavy duty aluminum foil, right? And what you're going to do you're going to put your chicken down, legs up, right? You're going to bring everything up that way okay and then you're going to double wrap it to make sure that no juice can get out okay you want to use you know five pound chicken or smaller because this has to fit inside the can okay all right, so we've just put about 10 or 12 pieces of charcoal in there with some paper and a little bit of lighter fluid. And we're just going to let it start. And when the uh, charcoal is nice and uh, gray, you know, good lit, we'll go get the chicken. Okay, it's about 5 o'clock. And everything's cook, cooked down. Okay. I've got my chicken, and we're going to put it leg side up, okay, and then we're just going to hang this somewhere, actually to, to heck with the hanging, we're just going to set it there and come back five, six, seven, come back at eight o'clock, see what it looks like. All right, if you've done everything right, in about 30 minutes or so, you should start feeling this thing get hot, all right? And uh, if everything's warm, then uh, like I said, just let it ride out that three hours. Okay, so I put it in the pot, poked a hole in it, let the drippings come out so I could save it. I'm gonna fall off the bone, literally. Yeah, there's no cutting that up. That's uh, let's break it apart. Ooh, juicy! I think this would work real good for making barbecue too. There we go. Nice, juicy, tender. Mmm. 
So anyway, until next time, you can always get some out at www.teengun.com.